Hey, hey friends, this is Grace here, getting ready to work on five journals on a journey. Well, I'm actually only working on one journal, but this is our event that's a six month event, six month long. Five creative friends made our own journals and we are passing them along to each of the friends each month and working on each other's journals, adding things to them. And in June, each person will get their journal back that is mostly created by friends. So it's super exciting. I am super happy you're here. Thanks for being here. Please say hello in the comments when you get here. I'm gonna grab the feed so I can make sure that I can see comments. That would be really helpful to me. Um, I've got the signature for the journal sitting underneath this stack of stuff. That's why this is here. It's like being a weight. It's kind of weighing down this stuff here. And I did that this afternoon. I kind of wish I had done it earlier. Like I kind of wish I had done that like yesterday because it would have been even flatter and better, but let's just do it anyway. Okay, this is just the set of glues that I have always sitting right here next to me. So I put that in there and a couple of my own art journals that I'll put aside. And here is the, this is the signature. Oh man, it's backwards. Hold on girls. Hey, Marsha Accord, welcome. Let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna try to fix this. There we go. This is the cover for Chris's journal. Chris's journal, I have the inside of the journal here. The cover is in the box, but here is, she has a, um, it's what you call a hidden binding. So all of this sewing on this side will not show on the outside of the book. It'll be hidden. Um, for her book. So this is though, these are the first two signatures that are in her book. And then this third row of holes, this third row of holes, that's where I'm going to be sewing this signature into the book. So I have like a whole slew of stuff hanging out over here that I want to put in this journal. Um, I'll just kind of run you through where we were last time with this signature, but just let me say hello to everybody. Welcome, welcome. Happy, what is today? It's Monday. Happy Monday. Hey, Carmela, how are you? Thanks for the compliment, darling. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Christina, I can see you. Yes, I can see you. Christy Abstin is here. Awesome, from Royal Funky Junk. <laughs> I don't know why I said that that way, Christy. Uh, Mary is here, and Judy is here, and Debbie, look at all you guys just rolling in. Chris Hunter is here. Chris, you here, are you gonna peek? I can't, listen. Michelle from the Vintage Daisy, she was just live in this event. There's five of us. We go live right in a row, right after one another. It's a page hop. So you might have just been, who was on the Vintage Daisy with Michelle? Michelle said she doesn't want to see. So whoever has her book, she doesn't want to watch the live because she doesn't want to know what's going on. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm too interested. Although I will say I can't stay and watch all of everybody's live but I pop in and watch and then like say hello and comment a little bit and then I might have to pop out and then I pop it back in again because it's an hour long. So anyway, I need to see, I wanna see. Michelle doesn't wanna see, she wants it to be completely hidden. I'm trying with each of these, you know, we're, we're doing the work live with you so that you can see what's happening. You were there, Christina, for her live. Did she say anything about sneaking a peek today? You watched both her and Dina. Good job, Vicki. I'm sure they loved having your company. Um, this one, this is the signature. Now, it doesn't look that big. Okay, let's look at this. <laughs> this is very interesting. This is right here. This is Chris's signature that she put into her book. She did no decorating on the pages yet. There, she All she did was put the pages in, okay? Um, and actually, her signature and my signature are very similar in size. Can you see that? In thickness? Check out Cheryl's signature. <laughs> that is Cheryl's signature. Girl, Cheryl, I love me a chunky signature. And she accomplished it with this signature. So anyway, anyway, before we send it off to our friend, we do want to decorate the pages. So I think we're going to do some decorating on this before I sew it in because it's just a lot easier if you can get it done before it's sewn into that big bunch of pages and all that it's just easier so let's do some decorating oh i just want to see who else is here so i can say hello howdy jana um 
Oh, good. Someone said, I'm watching all five. Oh, that's Marsha Gord. I'm watching all five because she loved this journey. I love this journey too. It's been just a pleasure. It's been so much fun to see how everybody's doing it. Okay, so let's just do a quick flip through. This first page, now I did take this to my sewing machine before I went live because I just was not up for monkeying with the sewing machine live. It's a little bit more pressure when you're live, especially if like your, your, your thread breaks or I just thought I better do this before I go live. You guys will actually get to see more, but I did do the sewing earlier today. Um, and this is two pieces of decorative paper sandwiched together. And then I sewed a straight line down the middle and a straight down, a straight line on the top and bottom. So it would make little pockets for four tags. So four tags fit in these. This is the cover to the signature. I love how they pop out. I was trying to figure out, they actually go in a little further if I'm patient. I can get them in a little further. Um, I love that they pop out. Like that to me is so cool. I will decide later. I won't, I probably won't decorate these tonight, but I will decide later. I may leave some of them for Chris to decorate herself because she may like really enjoy that. Or maybe she'll have tags that she wants to pop in there that are already decorated. So I like to leave um, the person who's getting the book with some room to do their own decorating. Okay, so that's the cover. This next page is uh, coffee stained paper. I always like to add a little bit of shimmer in some way. So maybe the paint that I use to stencil on it or I'll use a spray like a copper spray or something. I like to have a little metallic shimmer on my coffee stain papers. This is a double doily, <laughs> double doily, very easy and fun to say. Two doilies overlapping each other and reinforced in the middle with some really pretty wide washi tape. Um, just because, I, I don't know, because I've never done that before, but I thought it would be kind of cool and neat to have the doily coming all the way out. Most of the time the doily sits much smaller than all the other pages. This way it's the same size. Uh, this is a page from my telephone book, and excitingly, it has North Dakota zip codes on there. I thought this is perfect. This is one of my tired crafting projects. When I'm too tired to craft, but I want to do something creative, I will paper collage in my old phone book on one side so that I can use these as backdrops for projects to make tags, to make ATCs, to make covers for journals, to make pages for journals, and the list goes on and on and on all the things you can use them for. I'm starting to wonder, nope, that's right side up, okay. Then this is just a decorative piece of double-sided paper. This is upside down. I was thinking, I think it goes this way. Hold on, girls, it is upside down. Yeah, there we go, now it's right. Oh, good gravy, I know, see, I know exactly what I want. In terms of what position I want everything, I want the North Dakota zip codes here, then this, and then this is a page from a book of poems that I own. So I copied it and then um, put it on a decorative piece of paper, glued them together, and then just cut it down so that it's the same size as the actual book. And it's perfect. It just fits in there well. So she has two poems in here, Waiting from John Burroughs and Paul Revere's Ride from Henry, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Does anybody know that poem? I grew up in Boston. So we had to memorize this poem in elementary school. Listen, my children, and you shall hear the midnight ride of Paul Revere. Does everybody know this one? On the 18th of April in 75, not, hardly a man is now alive. I had to memorize that in elementary school. I thought when I came across it, I'm like, that is so fun. I'm putting a little piece of my history in this book for her. And that's the beauty of these books is we each are going to have just a little bit of ourselves. You're going to have a, a little bit of each friend in these books in each of the signatures. So fun. So, so fun. Um, let's see. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see. You had to memorize it too, Vicki. Where did you grow up? What state did you grow up in? <clears throat> Michelle says, he's my hero. Well, she's getting a poem from Wadsworth in there. Okay. Then we have a little music, a really vintage music sheet from an actual hymnal. It says the Bible on one side, the word of God, a song on the back. And I just realized it's ripped right there. So this we're, we have something we're going to cover that with. It's going to be quite nice. This, I want this way. Yes. Oh, no. Hold on, girls. Let's see. How do I want this? No, it's correct. It's the correct way. Oh, here is this page. So we have a calendar page, and this calendar page has 
I pulled it from an old calendar, but it has the date of December 5th on it, which is the day that Chris first messaged us all, messaged all of us as a group and said, hey, I have this really great idea. It was Chris Hunter's idea. She said, I have this really great idea. Would you girls want to do this with me? And we were all like, yes, this sounds so fun. So December 5th is in there. I have a little post-it note. So I remember the post-it note will come out. I'm going to remember to write something kind of fun and cool in there to commemorate or keepsake that date. Okay, just two pages left. This, she said her favorite color is pink in the little quiz. So we had to have, this is really bright pink, paper, polka dot paper. And I created a window there. Um, so I sewed the two pages. This is just two pieces of cardstock. Sewed them together. And then this makes a little window for this birdie. So we're going to have to do something with this birdie to jazz it up a little. I already... I think it's beautiful on its own, and I already put it on a piece of decorative paper, but I want to do something more to that. I think that would be really good as a journaling card. So I think I'm going to put some maybe coffee stained paper on the back so that she can journal and a fabric tab. Okay, so that's what that is. It's two pieces of paper that have been sewn together to make a pocket on each side. So there's like a really big, nice pocket on either side and then in the middle this is a page from a children's novel children's book I should say with a beautiful birdie on it so that is the book in it or the the signature in its entirety so we're gonna go and start really jazzing up some of these pages so what do you think what do you think um Vicky says I also memorized Hiawatha on my own because I love the words your teachers are into poetry that's old school classic Classic uh, elementary school education, but that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Vicky's in Indiana. Um, yes, Capri. Isn't that a good idea to just put something written in there on that date? How fun is that? I'm so excited. I'm so excited about that. Okay. Well, I'm so excited you're all here. Let's let's get into it. I have a whole pile, you guys. A whole pile of stuff sitting here, ready to decorate. So I'm going to start flipping through. I also. I grabbed a couple of cutouts. This is just paper. So just printed on paper and then I cut it. I fussy cut it out. This one I did run through my Cricut. I, I used the cut and scan option on my Cricut maker to print this out on sticker paper. And then I let the Cricut cut it out because there's a lot of fussy cutting on this one. You can see in between all of these branches it's all open. So I was like, it, your Cricut maker or your Cricut can do such a nice job of fussy cutting. So I did this on sticker paper and I did it to a bunch of them so that I would just have a whole bunch of florals and birds and things to put into my books. So we're going to find a home for that. And actually I may, I think I wanted to put that on the telephone book page. Yes, because this side of the telephone book page it has North Dakota on it which I'm from North Dakota so that is why that's there it's kind of brings that up this side is decorative because it's paper collaged this side is just the telephone page and it's not you know it's not necessarily that great looking my city the town that I live in is over here and I'll probably highlight that for her but on this side this is what we have we have this beautiful piece of paper here and then telephone paper telephone book zip codes. So I think I'm going to put this birdie over on this side to live right here and just to jazz this up. And I may even, I'm going to get some copper paint and I think I'm going to do a little scratchy painting back there. Um, I'm missing comments. I know I'm missing comments. Yes, yes. The Cricut, your Cricut. I have a Cricut maker. I don't know about the other Cricut uh, models. I guess is the word, but the Cricut, what's the name of the software, guys? Is it Access? Cricut? You, you use the, the scan and cut option in your Cricut software, um, and you can do that with your Cricut Maker. It's pretty cool. Um, if you are, hold on, I'm just grabbing paint. I wanted to grab my copper paint. Uh-oh, I think I used it for another project. Hold on, girls. I'm here. All right. Well, I can't find it. It's kind of dark in here. Um, it's really dark over there. Now that the sun is going down, 
Let me get a little more light in here. Ooh, that's better. I can't find my copper paint. I think I'm using it on a craft therapy club project. And so it's in the bucket for the craft therapy club. Um, hey, Callie, if you are design space, thank you, Cheryl. If you're a member of the craft therapy club, the video on how to do that, how to use your Cricut maker to cut out your stickers, it's in there. If you have trouble finding it, let me know and I'll help you. We're going to slap on some paint here. Um, I know that doesn't sound very fancy, but that's what we're going to do. Let's put a little paint up in this corner just to make it, I don't know, it's just going to be a little more artistic. And actually, this is gesso. It's not paint, but that's okay. Nobody's going to tell, right? Nothing fancy going on here. Just adding a little swash of paint. It, it matches this one. This one has purple and greens, and it's on coffee-stained paper. So we're just going to muck this up with a little, a little gesso. And what that's going to do is that that's going to help that bird kind of pop a little more. I actually I actually think I'm going to add something else to it too. Thanks for sprinkling, Susan. I appreciate you. Hey, if I do this, what do we get when I do one thumbs up? Balloons! That's my little celebration. Thank you for sprinkling. That that Susan, that was just be you sprinkled and so I'm sending you guys some balloons as like a little party. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Okay. Where is my copper paint, girls? I cannot find it. All right. When you cannot find the paint you're looking for, I'm going to go with the metallic. I love little splashes of metallic in my books. So this one, that's not metallic. This one is, though. This is a gold. Um, the col colored gesso comes from uh, Deco Art. Go to the Deco Art website. That's the only place I've ever seen it besides black, white, and clear. That would, This was a gift from... It might have been Michelle Maidlow. Might have sent that to me a long time ago, and I'm still using the bottle. Um, but if you go to the Deco Art website, you'll find colored gesso. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of gold. Just, it's just adding color. It's like interesting, unusual. It makes you think. It makes you look a little bit artistic. And... It's gonna help this bird show up a little bit better. I didn't do this, I don't think I did this in Chris's, uh, the other book, and whose book did I have first? Cheryl's book. She got one of these birds too, but I don't think I put the paint underneath it. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna just go a little further out. I want it to be purposefully messy and random. I don't want it to be like a perfect blob of paint. <laughs> you know, I have such technical terms over here at the Comfy Nest with Grace. All right, we need to let that dry. Where can I put this so it doesn't mess anything up? Let's get a little piece of paper and I'm just gonna lay it on a piece of paper. Okay, that can that can dry. And then this one, this one I had planned on putting on one of the pink pieces of paper, but let's see. Eventually, before you sew everything, you wanna make sure that all of your pages are all in the right place. I tend to stop and fix them every single time and I really don't need to fix them until I'm ready to start sewing. Okay, this page hurts me. <laughs> Let's be honest. It hurts me. It's just so pink. It's so pink and it just hurts my eyes. Um, I'm just gonna see. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use a little gold because I love the metallic and we're gonna stencil. So let me think now, which stencil do I wanna use? Hold on, girls. We're gonna find a pattern stencil. This is good, because it'll let that gold dry um, on the other page right here while I pick out a stencil to put over this one. This tends to be my favorite one. I just think it's so pretty. I don't want I don't want to cover this in its entirety. I want it to look kind of disheveled, <laughs> if that's a if that's a word, disheveled. Well, let's use numbers and diamonds. So I won't use a really big one. I'll use a number stencil. I'll use a diamond stencil. I got to put this on the floor or I'm going to have a huge like pile up of stuff falling all over. So let's do this. I'm going to grab a stencil brush and one of my little 
ceramic dishes and we're gonna put some of that gold paint in here and see what we get. <laughs> Martha, who's a, who's a fan of pink? And do you have a favorite pink that you like? Cause you know, of course, there's ballet pink, there's light pink, there's fuchsia pink, there's like, those are really different from each other, but they're both pinks. I love pink too. This pink all by itself on a page kind of hurts my eyes. So we're, we're gonna stencil a little just randomly on here. We're gonna add some numbers and we're gonna add some diamonds. Again, I don't want it to look too planned or anything. I just want it to be interesting looking. So we're gonna, we're gonna add some visual interest here. So tell me your favorite pink. Who's a pink lover or who, who isn't? Either way, there's no right or wrong answer. I like pink. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I love pink and teal together. Um, and I, I tend to really like soft colors, like soft, soft pink, like barely noticeable pink. I love that look. All right, let's just see how this is looking. Ooh, it's, it's definitely metallic, which I like. All right, we're gonna go across the page some. It's thicker in some areas. So if I, if I get new paint and I dab it on in some areas, I'm gonna get a stippled look because the paint is, there's a lot of it on the brush. So it gives it a stippling, kind of like a lemon meringue pie. You know how you get those peaks? They're not quite that big, but it's the same idea. And then in some places, I'll actually rub or do circles so you're gonna get a much flatter application of the paint. So it does look a little different. I will show that to you because it definitely looks different in different places and um, it makes the paint translucent in some places and more opaque in others. So take a look at that. I love, I think just putting a little foiling or glitter or like a metallic wax or metallic paint in your book can add like, you turn the page and you're like, whoa, that was unexpected. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you have a really bright modern theme for your book or if you have um, a real vintage distressed theme or grungy theme, it always works for me. It always makes me excited to see a little bit of metallic in a book. So I am gonna put some numbers here. I'm gonna let that dry and work on this side while that side's drying. I like the number stencils a lot. Random numbers. So I wanna do a little bit of both on both pages. So I gotta leave room for some diamonds here. But you see how some places I'm stippling and some places I come in and I'm doing this round, smooth application. Let's just pull it up and see what we get. I call this the hinge. I'm gonna hinge it up. I like it. I'm gonna go even further. Just really light out here on this side. Okay. I'll hold it up when I'm all done so you can see. Wet stencil, where do I put it? <sighs> I've run out of room. I've run out of room on my, on my table. Okay, let's go up here with some diamonds. Maybe I should hit it with a little air first. Hey, Luann, welcome, welcome. Oh, Christina likes black and pink. Oh, that's like classic, right? Makes me think Victoria's Secret. Isn't there black and pink? Isn't that two of their logo colors? Just beautiful. Really, um, pink with what combination? Pink and gray is really beautiful. Pink and white is really nice. Pink and silver. I think you can't go wrong with pink, but this is just a lot of pink without anything breaking up, breaking it up for your eye. So we're adding a little bit of stenciling just to just to break it up a little. I'm gonna go right into my stitching too. I'm going right over my, my threads. We're gonna have them kind of run into each other. Yes, and I wanna go off the page. Oh, I love it, I love it. That makes me happy. Okay, this is good stuff. I'll put a few going across the two pages here. Just a few little diamonds. See how they're just randomly assorted. There's, there's no rhyme or reason to this. It's just whatever you feel like doing, which can be really fun. Okay, we have a big six, two, nine, and seven. 
So let's get the five, seven, one, nine. <laughs> There's no reason it's random. The, these numbers don't mean a stinking thing. Oh, I could put that big five on my calendar though, because it was December 5th was the day that Chris contacted us all. So I could use a big five on that. That's actually a good idea. Okay, while I have my paint out, I should probably look and see, are there any other pages that I wanna add a little bit of gold paint to? I wanna hold this up so you can see it. Cause it looks way better in the light. So it's just random. And I'm probably gonna cover these pages with a little something, something. You know, something will go on there as well. It's not, not completely done. Lots of layers, lots of layers. Add the five to the calendar, right Capri? That would be great on there. Um, oh, Jana, I don't mind crafting with pink, but I don't wear a lot of pink. That's funny. She says, I have a pink shirt on now though. <laughs> ironic, that's ironic. You gotta have just one thing, pink, no? Okay, here is, where's my fifth? Here, The fifth is over here. Man, I really should, shouldn't I? There's the fifth right there. Let's see, I start taking my book apart and I gotta remember where, how to put it all back together again. Let's put a little bit of this gold with the five. I'm gonna put it, where do I wanna put it, Gracie? I think I'm just gonna randomly stick it up in this upper corner. Where's the five? Oh, it's up here, I need to move this. I want the five. Scoot over paint. Can I just get the five? Or is it gonna look weird? <gasps> it doesn't look that weird. <laughs> so funny when you when you reveal something like that and then you're just so pleased. It's like it just brings such happiness. That's the goal. All this creative time that we're spending, it's just to bring your heart some happiness. Get your mind off the stresses of your bills or <laughs> you know, health issues, which is a lot my issue, health issues or worry about your kids or grandkids. I love that. That just makes me happy and it makes me forget just for a minute, all the chronic pain, all the issues. There's my little five. Now here is the fifth on the calendars right there. So I will do something. In fact, should I... Can I, should I paint, oh man, should I just paint the five? Now I'm really taking my book apart. Not my book, I'm sorry, it's not my book. It is Miss Chris's book. I'm gonna just put some paint, I'm gonna brush it on. Oh, I need to go in here to get more. I'm gonna brush it on to the fifth so that that square has some gold in it. make it really stand out. I'm also gonna journal a little on this page. I'm gonna write something to her. Oh, Chris, are you listening in? <laughs> I'm not gonna show you guys that though, because I do want something to be, you know, something to be a little bit of a surprise. Okay. There, now we made the fifth. Now this is, I don't know, was it, who said it? Who? There's one of the girls, Dina. I think it's Dina who doesn't love when her pages in her book are going wonky. Like, so that's the book page and it's turning this way. So you're actually reading it, you know, sideways. I like it. I think it's funky. I think it's funky and I think it's fun. So I kind of like it. There's no right or wrong. Like you can do it half the time, have books where you don't do it at all, have books where that's all you do. I mean, there's no right or wrong, ladies. I just wanna keep reminding you that. When you're creating, there's no right or wrong. You do exactly what you wanna do. Okay, now I've really taken my book apart and I don't know what goes where anymore. <laughs> I don't know what went where. I'm all confused. Hold on. Is this right? No, this is not right. Because that was not toward the front. Girls, I can't remember now. Yes, I had this pink next to where the bird's going. This goes in the middle. I can't remember, yeah. Uh, I don't remember if that's how it was, but I'm happy with that. And then I have this pink one that was drying over here. 
Oh, where, where did this one go? Oh, does anybody remember? Is it here? No, it was not next to the doily. This is the one with the little window. See, I got myself all mucked up. But it's okay. We'll, 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 it's like putting Humpty Dumpty back together again. We're, we'll get it, girls. Okay, I think... I don't like those two together at all. Let's rework. Let's go like this. Is this how I had it? I don't like that together at all. Where was the pink one? Good gravy, friends. I'm okay with all of that. It's the pink one that's throwing me off. This wasn't here. <laughs> How was this? I think maybe we were like this. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't like the pink against the bird, though. Something else has got to go in there. Let's try this. Oh, I don't want those two together. <laughs> I really did muck it, up. muck it up. That was not like that, friends. It was not. I promise you. Maybe... You, Mr. Pink Bird, were right there. Yes, that's how it was. Okay. That's how it's going to be anyway, even if it wasn't. Phew, I need to drink water. Sandra, good idea. She said, rewatch it. You can find it later. You are so smart, chickadee. Oh, Betty said the same thing. Pink was with the Dakota zip codes. Vicky. Vicky says pink was with the Dakota zip code. Where's my Dakota zip code? Hold on, girls. Vicki knows. She's telling me. It was here? Like in here, Vicki? Was it like that? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Listen, if it doesn't really grate you the wrong way, then it's okay. Then it'll work. Okay, I can live with this. All right, let's get our bird down. Here she goes, right here. I, I do tend to work all over the place. I don't work in order. I work on what, like, kind of, I feel like doing this right now, and I work on that, and then I work everything else around it based on, like, what you like, what, what is visually appealing to you. That's kind of how I do it. Okay, this is a sticker, so I'm going to peel it, and we're going to stick it on there, if I can get it peeled. She's saying the bird cutout was with the... Was with the what? Remind me, Vicki. What did you say? Now you're saying it's the bird cutout, not the pink. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with it. I'll have to rewatch if I really want it back the way it was. I don't even think I need any extra glue because th this um, label paper is pretty, pretty sticky. It makes some really good stickers. Okay, so that's what we got. I like that. Okay. So she's saying what? Re oh, yeah. The bird cut out. I don't know what you mean, Vicki. Say more. Say more, my friend. Help me out. Okay. Next up. This page. I was... No, that's not where I was going to put that. This is where I was going to put this in this little corner. Since I have my gold out, I don't think I'll stencil, but I think I'm just going to add a little bit of gold smudging. <laughs> On this coffee stained paper, I'm just going to dry brush a little like this. Again, it's just visually interesting to me. I'm going to go this way too. I'm kind of framing out this little sweet little shed. I don't want it to look perfect. I like things looking super grungy. Super grunged out. So while I have that paint out, it's a good time to use it up. That's going to go right there, and I'm going to love it. I hope she loves it, too. Okay, what paint or glue do I want to use, girls? I'm looking for this one. Let's try to use this one. Betty, we'll get it right eventually. There's no right or wrong. It's just what you visually like, right? So even if it ends up in a different place than where I had it before, as long as I'm not grossed out by it, I think I'll keep it 
where it is. You know, like it, it doesn't bother me as long as the things around that kind of jive. I think I have another clog. This is like the bane of my creative existence. If someone out there who is an engineer could come up with the perfect container for craft glue that doesn't clog, can I get an amen in, in the comments? Like if you agree with me, let's all petition some brilliant engineer. Please do the work. I'll pay extra. If you can guarantee me a clog-free bottle, kid, I'll pay extra because I spend so much time trying to unclog my bottles. Drives me batty. Sometimes these cutouts are just so darn pretty. Yeah, <laughs> Betty. Well, all right, Janet's saying amen. Janet's with me. Janet and Betty, they agree. Yes, we need clog-free glue, please. Can someone please invent it? Okay, so even though this side of my um, coffee stand paper did not have any metallic, I just added it right there. This side has just a little bit of metallic in the stenciling that I did. I think I actually sprayed that on there. But, oh, there's just a teeny bit of metallic there. I think since these are facing, they're, they're connected. I'm gonna just spread a little bit of metallic here. Unexpected. I made, this is a little bit of a super, I love grungy. I love it. Um, this is a little pocket here, but it's very lightweight dry paper. So it's not gonna hold anything super heavy, but I will find something to pop in there. All right, so we got the house. That was one thing I wanted to definitely put in here. And then I'm gonna start going through some of these other things that I've gathered. I need a little more glue, just a dab. Just the tiniest little dab right there to hold that house down. Okay, now I grabbed, I have a container full of corrugated cardboard. These are snippet rolls, which I love to use in my books. I have embossed paper because I love texture. So anything that adds texture is a good thing as far as I'm concerned. I made these a long while back in the craft therapy club with the girls, some snippet rolls. And I think these make fabulous little, um, let me put this back where it was so I don't forget. That's gotta go back there. I think these make fabulous little end pieces, like little, not tabs, but almost tabs for your pages. So when you're flipping through, like here, we could put one here, attach one there, and it just adds a decorative element and something to grab to flip that page. This page happens to be really dry because it's coffee stained and baked paper. So this little reinforcement on the edge is wonderful. It's a really good idea. I'm gonna look at a couple of these because just for coloring sake, I want something, let's see. I have like, they all have different colors on them and they're different lengths. This one is really hefty. It's really sturdy. I'm gonna use this one. It's really sturdy. So I'm gonna add the glue to the page. And then I like for this to hang off the edge just a little bit, making it, it just makes it interesting. It sticks out, you look at it and you're like, what is that page all about? When I look at a junk journal that has all these chunky pages to them, like the one here, with all these like things hanging off of it and hanging out of it, I can't wait to get my fingers on that on that signature and I wanna start pouring through the pages and spinning them, turning them, so I can see all of the things that make up all that chunkiness. So I think these make great little additions to your book. Now it's sticking out the edge here. Um, maybe I'll just do back to back. I don't think I've ever done that, but that could be kind of cool to have back to back or, let's see, I don't like that one. This one has a little heart in the middle, and this I did sew right up the middle of it. Yeah, I think I do. I think I do. I think I like it. We're gonna do it. Who's creating tonight? Who's doing something creative tonight? And what are you doing? What's on your creative agenda for the day? Did you get your daily crate time in? Did you have time to do some gluing or collaging or crocheting or knitting or what do you love to do? And have you had your time today to do it? 
do tell in the comments. We love to talk all things crafty. Hey, Diana Barker. Um, oh, someone's buying some new glues. Good job, Lynn. Hey, Connie, how are you? Connie, welcome, welcome. Connie's a new watcher, so welcome, Connie. Uh, my name is Grace. I'm up here in North Dakota. Welcome to the Crafty Chicks community. That's what I like to call the, the, the ladies who hang out here at my page, the Comfy Desk with Grace. I am working on a signature for a junk journal from a friend, Chris. This is her book. This is the start of her book. Um, the book has five signatures that will get sewn into it. Two of them are already done. You can see the stitches right here. I'm working on the third one, and this event is called Five Journals on a Journey. We each created our own book cover, and then we send it off to our friend, and our friend adds pages to the book. Each one of the five friends is adding pages to the book until the book is complete. And when you junk journal, um, generally you do a lot of decorating on the pages, like adding these, you know, like I just added those snippet rolls to this which kind of fortifies the end, edge of the paper since it's dry and brittle paper. And it also makes it decorative. It makes it really interesting to look at. This could actually be a good place to put a dangle too if I wanted to dangle a little charm or something on that page, I could do that. But I'm gonna save that for later. Right now I'm looking at decorating all the pages. Okay, here, all right, I'm done with the snippet rolls for now. So I'm gonna put these back in their, their little envelope. But the doily, let me look through what I have sitting here. I've got my embossed papers. Ooh, I have this really big yellow butterfly that's just been waiting for a place to live. But I, it's, too, it's it would compete too much with my little birdie there. So I don't think that's the right one. I'm looking through to see what cutouts I have in here that I could use. There's a little butterfly. All right, let's keep looking. It's not striking me yet. This is the other half. <laughs> this was one page that was like this. These are on facing pages, I think. They come, I think they come from the same set. So this is my little journal card. Um, I don't think I wanna put a bird on this facing page, but I did want to, because I don't want it to compete, right? With this little birdie hanging out here. But I, I wanna put something there. I also said that I wanted to make this little card a journal card so I want to put on the back of this some plain paper this doesn't look straight to me in the least what did I do here uh, and I have to hold it apart far from my face because I can't really see I can't really see without my glasses Connie, so I hope that answers your question. It tells you a little bit about the event. It's called Five Journals on a Journey. And we started it. Let's see what we're doing here, Gracie. We started the event in, is this the third month, girls? Is this the third month? Somebody remind me. I think this is our third month. Missed the end there. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. All right, let's see. I'm going to make some journal space here for her. I'm just going to grab like a plain, well, this has seashells on one side, but let's use this and we're going to glue it down on here. So she has a place to journal and then we'll decorate the back of this. And then I also wanted to add a little piece of fabric, actually a little fabric tab here so that she can slide this in and out of this little window and have a little journal card. Okay. So that's definitely going there. And then Maybe a little bit of lace. Let's see what's in this one. What's in this bin? Oh, we have lace. Oh, this is the original. Oh, look at that little birdie right there. Cuteness. All right, all right concentrate, Grace. Focus. Focus. I'm getting so distracted. I'm going to find a little piece of fabric that I can put on here with this little journal card. Well, here's a part of a snippet roll that I had cut off because I needed it to be shorter. So this could go on here too. That would be kind of cute. Maybe I'll do like that. And then she would still have plenty of space to, to um, do some journaling. But I'm gonna see if there's any other bit of fabric or lace in here. Cheryl P sent me that. Cheryl P is up next for Mama P's Crafty Creation. She's up next and she sent me 
bits of a wedding dress in the mail. So I have all these like amazing bits of lacy, pearled up uh, dress bits. But I don't, that's not, it's not good for this page, but um, I love those, love those bits that she sent me. Okay, here is some more pink. I got this little, it's like a more of a purple, but got this little piece that we could layer. So we have a little bit of a textile and paper. Let's do that. I like it. We're doing it. Okay, we're going to glue this down. It's going to give her some journaling space. If you're new to junk journaling, please let us know if this is like, if you're watching me do this thinking what on earth is going on here, if you don't know what junk journaling is all about, please ask in the comments because I can answer. Plus I know the other crafty chicks who are here, many of them are junk journalers. Um, my, many of them are in my membership group. So we junk journal in my membership group sometimes. Um, and it's just a regular part of my creative life. So anybody who hangs out here a lot would know that, but if you're just coming in for the first time and this is something new to you, please ask us about it in the comments because I know this Crafty Chicks community is super supportive and will answer any questions that you have. Okay, I'm gonna actually glue them to each other first. I don't want these straight edges necessarily, but I'm gonna show a little bit of this pinkish purple fabric. I love showing having both textiles well, I love any kind of texture. That's why I have corrugated cardboard. I have lace. I have um, embossed papers. I use it all in my books because I love a lot of texture kind of hanging out in a book. It makes me really excited. Okay, I got glue all over my fingers. That's no good. <laughs> That's no good. All right, I think I'm missing comments. Let me see if I can find the, the, the newest comments. Lovely, right? Mar Martha says they're lovely lace bits. I agree. All right, so all I did was glue a piece of fabric to the back of a leftover snippet roll. So the, fa the so there's just like, it's a scrap of fabric glued down to a scrap of snippet roll. And this is gonna be like the decorative edge. I think I'm gonna actually do layers so it's like framing. So you have the, the original layer, we have the coffee stained paper, the fabric, and then the snippet roll. And there's still plenty of room there to journal or to glue a picture or a ticket or however she decides she wants to use this journal. Now I just wanna come up with some little tab, a fabric tab for the end of this. Um, it's interesting because this, this paper, this paper is bright pink, and then we have the polka dots, which are all kind of, they're muted, but they're bright colors. So we got yellow, orange, um, like a, a green, a minty green, a fuchsia pink in there. This is not, this is like more vintage style, but I love mixing things, you guys. So we're gonna, this is gonna end up in here. It'll tone down the pink, but I need some sort of little piece of fabric, like, that I can fold over and make a little tab. I don't think I want burlap. Let's go find, some. I'm in my little snippets basket. This is where all the stuff goes and I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. It's a leftover, I'm gonna throw it in there. Um, here, this has little bird feet all over it. Tiny little bird feet walking around. That could be cool hanging out of there. Let's see. So it would be attached here like this. So it's a little tab. I like it to be loose here. I like it to have movement. I like it to be puffy and ratty and sticking out. <laughs> How's that for a bunch of adjectives? Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, I gotta get the bird in place. I'm just gonna add a dab of glue onto the fabric. And then I think I'm gonna staple. Staple? Yeah, staple. I, I, I tend to mix up my words sometimes. Sometimes I say paperclip when I mean staple. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this so that I have a good position here. I want the bird, if the bird's right in the middle, well, if he, he's not quite in the middle. He's The visual of the bird is in the middle of the little window, but he's not in the middle of the space, the pocket space. Um, so let's see, we're just going to glue this on one side. Once I pick my spot, I can pull this out of here and glue it down. 
like a little tabby. And then I do, I do like, because again, it's another, it's another bit of texture, right? It adds another element, a little staple. What color do I have in here? It's purple. <laughs> we'll take it. All right. So it'll look like that. And then she'll have her journal space here. This will get stuck in here. Now, do I have any wet glue? It, this is still a little tacky, wet with glue, so I'm not gonna put it in there. I'm just gonna put it aside and let it dry. Because otherwise, if I stick it in there, it's gonna stick to something it's not supposed to, and I'm gonna be all upset later. Okay. I learned journal making with Grace. Yeah, you said as well. So somebody else must have said that too. Connie, I use every kind of glue imaginable. Um, right now I'm using this one just because I have it. It tends to come out of the bottle pretty easily, although the, the nip of the bottle always clogs. Um, I use this in my phone book when I'm doing my paper um, collaging. Uh, when I need a thicker one, I use tacky glue. I mean, I have my favorite glue stick i use this one daily basically daily that's a permanent glue stick i have a lot of them i have a lot of glues that i like and use for different reasons because they have different properties right so we, we tend to pick the ones that that do the job for the job that we're doing okay why are you why are you escaping get back in there friend what don't be a cuts just get in there come on now friend there I just wasn't in the right spot. Okay, we're here. I still wanna find something to put here. <laughs> I'm looking around like, what could it be? I have this canvas, leftover canvas. What if I cut a circle? See, the other thing about the doily, it's very flimsy. So you're not going to be able to like attach a whole lot to it. It's very, very dainty and flimsy. However, if I did put something in here that was a little more sturdy, two things, we could give her more journal space if she wanted it or like a frame for a photo or something. And it would also reinforce the strength of the doily. Let's just see. Do I have a piece of this? Big enough I would cut it round I would not leave it square because that just doesn't jive with me that is too gnarly it's too big and thick I'll show you the difference okay hold on okay see this very small corrugated <laughs> this one's very big corrugated so see this one's really gnarly and this one's kind of dainty so I would think dainty would work better but I don't know that I have a piece big enough I have that gold corrugated paper that I got from Michaels, um, but I may have used most of that up. Let's just keep looking. We will work this out. Let's maybe try something like this. Oh, look at this. Another painted doily in my bits and bobs basket. Okay, here I have some painted or um, sprayed book page paper, and this actually might be the right size. Okay, Gracie, make a decision, girl. Make a decision. We're going to try something here. All right, kind of that would be my space, and kind of that would be my space. I'm just giving myself a pencil mark, and I'm going to tear a circle and just see. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Ooh, never done it before. We're going to see. Oh, I might have tore it too small. Oh, I think it's interesting. Okay, I'm going to layer. We're going to do a couple of layers here. So let's go. Listen, I have all the tools, all the templates and all the, the, the tools for cutting circles perfectly, but that's not my style. It's too much work. It's, it's, it, I just don't want to do all that. I'm too lazy. It's too much work. I'm too tired. So I always find quick ways, quicker ways to do things. And I really love the distressed look. Okay, here is my fold. 
So this is part of my challenge is that I can't go over my fold, but I am absolutely gluing these two things down here. I think they're really interesting. I might stick something in the middle. I don't know. Ooh, we still have our gold paint here. I know some of this will get covered, but. By putting a little bit of that gold paint in several places in this signature, it's gonna make things more cohesive, in my opinion. <laughs> this is so interesting. All right, it's gonna, it's gotta fold, so I can't have this going in the way of the fold. This is gonna help reinforce this doily. I'd be better off putting it on the back. It's clogged already, girls. Where's our engineer? Good gravy. Christina, did you say that I'm not lazy? Are you referring to me when you say that? I gotta get my mouse so I can see the comments. Hold on, Mo Gracie's making, I was gonna say mama. I always talk to my kids, mama's making room. Gracie's making room so I can see. You'll donate to the engineer, Michelle, please. Both of my kids, listen, maybe this could be one of their school projects. They're both looking toward engineering. Landon is looking at mechanical and aerospace engineering. He's been accepted to the University of North Dakota and he's going in the fall and he plans on double majoring in those two engineering programs. And Gannon, I think, is looking at mechanical engineering as well. He, he'll go to college the year after. So Michelle, maybe we can, maybe we can solicit my children <laughs> to invent a glue bottle and a glue that is seamless and like a clogless, I'm gonna Google this. Is there a clogless, clogless, glue bottle out there in the world. I may want to put, let's get our little, are you dry yet? I'm so visual girls. I have to see it. Oh, this has blue, which matches the bird. Was not intended, but I absolutely love this so much. Um, I may end up putting something else here, but I don't know what yet. I don't know. Okay, who gets coffee a lot? Who goes out for a cup of coffee? Michelle, you go out for coffee, don't you? You go to Dunkies every every day or like a, a, a once or twice a week? What do you do? What's your schedule? I used to go for Dunkies every day when I lived in Massachusetts. And I was working, like I had like a 45, 50 minute ride from like just north of Boston up to Lawrence, Massachusetts, or Haverhill. I, I used to work in Haverhill, Massachusetts, up by the New Hampshire border. Um, I worked at a community college up there, so I would get a coffee every morning for my ride. I don't anymore because I work from home, but these little sleeves, you guys, these little coffee sleeves, you know, that they put around your cup so that your hand doesn't burn, don't throw them out. They got you some good corrugated cardboard in there. So what if could I make, wouldn't it be cute? I got an idea. I got an idea in my head, girls. Oh, you guys, I'm almost out of time. Every day, you go every day. God bless you. Like, that's awesome. I can't believe I'm already out of time. Jeez, Louise, girls. I will announce who's next here in a minute. I'm going to give it another minute. I'm going to announce who's next. This is a page hop. So what we want you to do is hop from my page over to my next Creative Friends page, and I'm going to give you the link in in the comments here, so don't leave. I'm gonna give you the link to her page in the comments so you can see her working on the book that she got. All right, so what I did was I just cut out a little corrugated heart and I absolutely am gluing that down. I might do two of them, one right next to the other. Um, yes, Betty, how did you know who it was? We are, we like to keep it, we like to keep it under wraps so that you go along with us and you page hop from, friend to friend, from create a friend to create a friend's page, and you get to watch these five journals get worked on. We do this, actually it's been twice a month now. Um, we've been working on these journals live with you guys, showcasing us working on these pages. By the 15th of the month, we need to send it off to the next person, so we're gonna finalize all of this stuff, send it off to the next person, and then we'll meet again on the first. We'll get together again, live, and share this all with you. I am gonna grab Mama P's Crafty Creations. I'm gonna give you the link to her page. It's in the description of this video. So if you get lost and you can't find it, you can go there, but give me just a second. I'm going to grab it and put it in the comments. If you know how to find her, you just go right ahead and go get her. Go get her girl. She'll be live here in one more minute, but I'm going to grab this link to make it just as easy as possible for all of you and drop it in the comments.
comments. So everybody, there it is. Head on over to Mama P's Crafty Creation. She's going to be working on hers next. There's her beautiful face showing up there in the comments. Thank you for being here with me, you guys. If you are a new watcher, thank you for being here. If you are a returning watcher, thank you, Crafty Chicks. Be sure to follow the page. I love having your company while I'm creating. Thanks for thanks for just dealing with my wonkiness and um, the craziness here at the Comfy Nest with Grace. You guys have a beautiful, blessed night.